Man, so things are escalating between the Leon Edwards, uh, between Leon Edwards camp and the UFC and Dana and all of them, and they're escalating for reasons that I I really want to qualify because Leon is making statements that are stupid. Okay, stupid. He is making non qualified stupid statements that he should be at least giving like uh, I'm saying this now, but if this then that. I mean, he's anyway. We're going to talk about that because. Uh, I like talking about fighter strategy. And also, Colby Covington has been accused in an incident of running from a fight, which, in my opinion, needs to be talked about for both sides, about Colby running and then the person talking about it. Uh, because, uh, yeah, I mean, there's just there's a lot of stuff to talk about, dude. We're going to talk about Leon Edwards. We're going to talk about the Hamzat thing with Colby. Colby running away from Hamzat at the PI and Hamzat thinking that him running away is something that is like, you know, hey, man, he ran away from me at the PI. It's like... Well, you're trying to fight him at the PI. You guys fight for money, dude. I don't understand. I, like, I, I don't understand. Dude, you guys fight for money, right? Why do you want to like? You're not an actual like junkyard dog pit bull. You fight Colby at the PI. You don't make any money. Why on earth would you try to fight him at the PI? It's so dumb. Like, it's so this is so dumb. And you're moving up to 185. What are we talking about? I don't understand, dude. Do I need to like, do I need to like put some brain power into all of these guys? That's basically this video. It's like, hey, Leon, you are saying stupid things. Hey, Hamzat, you are saying stupid things. I don't want any problems, dude. I definitely don't want to fight you. I want to fight you way less than Colby Covington. But what do I mean? I guess if it's part of his brand, you know what? I take it back. It's part of his brand, dude. I'll fight you anywhere. I will attack you at the PI. That's actually good branding. I take it back. Good job. And I definitely don't want to fight. Colby is being accused of certain things that we're going to talk about. Anyway, whatever. Lots of stuff to talk about. So before we do, though, really quick, I have two vicious videos highly produced. I have an interview with Masvidal. Uh, if you enjoyed my interview that I did with Dana White and the interview that I did with John Jones, we got the one coming up with Masvidal today. The It's the longest one ever. It's, it's really good, dude. It's probably going on my second channel, Jesse on Fire After Hours. It's uploading right now on both channels because I haven't decided which one I'm going to put it up on. And then I also... Uh, and that link to that is in the description to my other channel. And then I also have a very highly produced video about all the matchups that are coming at welterweight. And I already got proven correct on one of the hardest ones to call because after I recorded it, they already said, so look out for that. Also, also not hundred percent sure which channel I'm going to put it on, but when you see it, definitely, definitely click on it. Okay. Oh, and I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Gold BJJ. That is my absolute favorite jujitsu gear in the world. And I get to go back to training today. So I'm very, very excited, very light training, but I get to train. Gold BJJ, their stuff, I promise you, their stuff is the best ever. Try their ultralight gi or try any of their rash guards. It's the highest quality stuff in the world. Gold BJJ, check them out. Link in the description. So let's start with uh, Leon Edwards. No, you know what? Let's start with Colby and Hamzat because that's a really quick thing to just touch on, right? So Hamzat came out and he's like, Colby Covington ran from me at the PI. He doesn't want to fight, dog. He doesn't want to fight. And you're like, dude. What? Like what? Why would you fight at the PI? You guys make hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, when you fight in the octagon. Okay. If you want to roll up on him in the PI and call him a, you know, hey, dude, I thought you wanted to fight. Why don't you sign a bout agreement, son, and get that on tape? I mean, maybe. But Colby, of all the, listen. Of all the people in the UFC, Colby has demonstrated being the smartest as it relates to this. When does Colby ever fight outside the octagon? Anytime anybody rolls up on him, he calls the cops or he runs away. And he has no shame in that because he's like, what are you guys doing? He's like, have you guys, have you guys not tell, can you not tell I'm wearing a, I'm, I'm wearing a $60 suit. I'm wearing a MAGA hat and I'm talking into a microphone. It's a character. Okay. I'm not trying to actually get in a fight in the MGM grand. What is wrong with you guys? And clearly, now I can understand if you had an upcoming fight with with uh, with Colby and you're like, oh, let's get inside this sucker's head. It's like Ali Abdelaziz and Kamara walking through the, uh, you know, walking through the hotel. This is like years ago and they see him. They're all, let's go get that. Let, let's go see if he'll say something in our face. And you're simultaneously partially thinking like, hey, this is going to work nice because when he gets in the octagon, he's going to be scared. Okay, well, yeah, but now this is years later and we've obviously seen Colby doesn't rattle when he's actually going into the cage to fight. And so these stories about like, oh, this guy ran from me. It's like, dude, so what are you saying? What, what's your point? They're all, he's a pussy. You're all, he's a pussy. Yeah, man. Colby's a pussy. He ran from me. You're like, okay, look, dude, Colby's a lot of things. 
But I could pretty much objectively say that the entire world can say he's not a pussy, okay? He's not a pussy. He's a cage fighter who goes into absolutely harsh enemy territory all the time, goes into the cage and fights full throttle every time with no nerves whatsoever, and he's super game, dude. If the guy had three broken legs, he would drag himself back into the octagon, assuming he was a dog, because then he would have four legs. But you understand what I'm saying. He got his jaw broken in the first Camaro fight, and he fought for three rounds with a broken jaw and almost won the fight, okay? He's a pussy? He's a, pu- he's a pussy. Colby Covington is a pussy. Idiots. Stupid. That is a stupid take, dude. Call him something else, okay? If he ran from you, that's because he's consistent. He doesn't fight outside the cage. He'll probably, I mean, maybe he would spar with you. He doesn't get into street fights. He doesn't get paid for that. And I respect him for not getting in street. It's dumb. It's dumb. You're a professional fighter. Get paid. Why would you? Why? So that whole entire narrative is dumb. But like I said, it is good for Hamzat's brand because he's like, I'll fight anybody anywhere. And he is a young, young, hungry man. I mean, in all honesty, when I was 27 or whatever, I probably would have been the same. Certainly when I was 24. Although I can't. Yeah, he's like 27 or 28. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't remember. Because I'm not that anymore. Now I just look at him like, it's so dumb. Right? Like, it's like you're a professional fighter, dude. What do you have to prove? You have nothing to prove. What has Colby done? Like, seriously, let me, let me actually ask this, okay? What has Colby done if your name is not George Mostadal, Kamaru Usman, or someone that he's, at, I guess he calls him cum shot. You know what? He does call him cum shot a lot. I take it back. He's actually talked a lot of shit about cum shot. So... Yeah, I, I, you know what? You see, sometimes I just talk myself in circles and I'm like, you know what? Actually, I guess if you talk shit about Hamza, you should expect him to try to attack you in person. It is still dumb. You should just try to get a fight with him. But since Hamza's moving up to 85, maybe then he's like, look, I don't get to fight you in the octagon. I'll just attack you at the PI. I don't know, dude. What am I talking about? All right, so Leon Edwards, though, speaking of Colby Covington, has now come out and told the UFC he will not sign a bout agreement. He won't do it. He's not signing a bout agreement if Colby's name is on it. So the reason that is super fucking dumb, okay, like 10 out of 10 dumb, is because in the event that Masvidal loses to Burns, who would you rather fight than Colby? Okay, I get it. Right now, he's like, oh my God, please let George win. You want the horror, yeah, you want the George fight. I get it, dude. I get it. But if George doesn't win, a thousand percent you want the Colby fight. One thousand percent, that's the fight you want. You want to you fight Bilal Muhammad instead? Okay, you want to make significantly less money? Who, I mean, you want to fight Gilbert Burns? Significantly less money? Why on earth would you want to fight anyone? But Colby is for sure the second biggest payday to George. For sure. A thousand percent. Why on earth would you not want to fight Colby? It's just dumb. You should be thanking the UFC, not making ridiculous sense. You should say... I'm not signing any bout agreement until we see how George does against Burns because this is personal. And in the event that he does beat Gilbert Burns in impressive fashion, I want George. I won't sign any other bout agreement. And that is exactly how he should be putting it. Okay. You don't just say, I won't fight Colby. You say, I'm not, I'm not agreeing to fight anyone until we see how George does. Okay. Because I have, and I talked about this with Poirier and Connor. Okay. Poirier probably could have been the ultimate fighter coach opposite Connor if he would have done what I said matter of fact that deserves a video okay but we could just do it right now for all my hardcores that know when I went super hard on Dustin where I was like when they ask you if the beef is over with Connor how the how could you how could you possibly said no to that how could you possibly said no to that of course the answer in the microphone is it's a blood feud he talked about my wife I will never let it go we're going to get back in the octagon and I will hang these gloves up if I lo- I don't care. I will kill this dude in the octagon. Like, obviously. And then you'd be opposite him in Ultimate Fighter about to make another $10 million. So, Leon Edwards, obviously, talking in the microphone, not a strong suit. But all you need to communicate is it's personal with George. I don't care. It's not about money. It's not about the belt. It's not about nothing. I want to give George... I w- this is exactly what I would say if I was him. And I realize... I'm the best in the world at this, aside from Chael, okay? On the thought, like, this is the message that will sell a lot of pay-per-views, right? This is what you say. You say, this is not about 
the belt. It's not about money. It's not about nothing. This is a blood feud. And let me tell you exactly how I'm going into this. I want George to get a title fight. I don't consider this me hooking him up. I hear people saying that, that I'm doing him a favor, giving him a title shot. No, I'm not. And I'll tell you exactly why. I want him to get that hope. I want to build that hope in him again so I can crush it for the last time. He lost to Colby. The reason you saw him upset in the, in the locker room is because he knew that he had lost his chance to get another title shot and his ultimate dream was gone. I want to give it back to him just so I can take it from him. I want him to feel it. Oh my God, my whole life is, has led to this and I want to break his face in front of the world so that his body and his spirit breaks at the same fucking time. That's why I want George. Pay him whatever you want. You think that money is going to feel good laying next to him in bed after I take his soul from him and fucking eat it in front of the entire world? That's why I want George. So I can eat his soul in front of the entire world and break his spirit forever. If you think he'll come back after that, he won't. I'll take everything from him. Give it to him just so I can take it from him. That's why. Fuck the belt. Fuck the money. I'll take his soul. That's what you say. That. And then instead of going, why is Colby Covington get a title shot? I want George. Okay. For fuck's sake, man. God, just let me like, like what, what's the movie like where like the guys just get to jump inside of people's bodies and then like do their job for them? Just fucking hire me to be you for a second and just put a microphone. Let me say that and then I'll leave and then you can go back to being the professional fighter that's excellent that I can't be on my own. Like, just let me talk. Let me just think strategy, talk into the camera, make a billion dollars for you and then go back to what I was doing. That's what I got. Love you guys.